Tonight, Minnesota lawmakers want to put the gas pedal to the floor and pass legislation to let undocumented immigrants get their driver's licenses. John Croman is live at the state capitol with why there's such a strong push now. John? Well, you know, Randy, immigrant driver's licenses passed the House here two years ago, but could not get traction in the GOP-controlled Senate. So now that the DFL controls both chambers, the people behind this movement have high hopes. In the Capitol Rotunda, a celebration 20 years in the making. Noise loud enough to be overheard by lawmakers as they headed into the House chamber for a debate on the licenses for all bill. It will help us grow the state economy, and so importantly, to treat immigrant communities with the dignity and respect that they deserve. House Speaker Melissa Hortman stood with a coalition of immigration rights groups and labor unions in support of allowing undocumented immigrants to get Minnesota licenses. A decision for our children to not have to live with this mental trauma who are citizens and depending on whether their families are gonna be able to take them to an emergency room or safely pick them up from school. They say unlicensed immigrants already using the roads would no longer have to fear deportation from a traffic stop. That this is not just a bill that will support some immigrants. This is common sense policy that is good for every single Minnesota. We still need to, as policymakers, look at the broad implications, and this bill has concerns. Representative John Kosnick and fellow Republicans are concerned because the licenses will look like any other license. They say they're worried it could be used for same-day voter registration. We have real concerns about that with the integrity of election process and the sanctity of the vote. Democrats have resisted the idea of putting special markings on the licenses that say they can't be used for voting. A driver's license does not indicate that you're a citizen of this country in Minnesota. Many, many people who are not citizens of this country and who do not have access to voting rights are able to drive legally. Now, this bill has the support of statewide business groups, law enforcement, farming groups. On the voting piece, the Secretary of State's office says that right now they do cross-checks between the voter rolls and the list of non-citizens with driver's licenses. If a non-citizen tries to vote or votes, they could be charged with a felony and face prison time and deportation. Back to you. All right, John, thank you.